Hi, this is one video in a series of videos that will help show you many of the features of Oracle Apex Application Express version 5. And we will use Apex to build a prototype application based on a database in Oracle XE. If you want to work along with the videos, you can get the scripts that will enable you to do that from the URLs shown here. The first URL is case sensitive, so make sure you use a capital letter when it shows a capital letter. From there, you can download the uh, scripts directly. If you'd rather have the scripts emailed, you can go to the second link and use the contact page to request that the scripts be emailed to you. I'm going to log in as the overall administrator for Apex. This is not where you go when you're going to design and build an application, but this is where you manage workspaces, which are containers for all the application design elements, and where you create and manage user accounts. So this account, admin, in workspace internal was uh, we set the admin name and password when we upgraded Apex in a previous video. So I'll go ahead and sign in. And what I'm going to do here is create a workspace for the tutorial. And again, a workspace would be a container of all the design elements for a particular application or even multiple applications. But I'm going to come here instead of clicking Create Workspace, I'm going to click Manage Workspaces. I'm going to end up in the same place, but generally once you get rolling with Apex, you're going to come to a setting such as this where you have more options such as manage developers and users. But right here I can click create workspace. And I'm not going to assign a workspace name yet. What I need to do is click create multiple workspaces. I only want one, but I need the option of saying don't insert the sample applications because I don't want that additional clutter as we're working through the tutorial. I'll set the quota for 25, although I think 10 would be fine. And then up here as far as the naming or the naming of the workspace, I'm going to say a static prefix and I'm going to call it Teams and I'm going to set my workspace count to one. So I don't need multiple ones, I just need that one. So I'm going to get teams underscore zero zero one. I'm going to go ahead and click next, having told set the settings so we don't get the sample applications. Now you could go ahead and create another workspace and allow those to be inserted, and that would be a good way to see a lot of the features in Apex, some of which I will not get into in the tutorial. So we click Next, and it tells us what we're going to get, and then we click Next. And our administrator, by the way, is going to be Teams underscore 001, so it matches the workspace name. And then I set my administrator password. And then the workspace has been created, so I can click Done. I could click on something like Manage Developers and Users and see the current accounts that I have. You can come to this area to reset passwords. I could look at existing workspaces. But for the most part, uh, for the tutorials anyway, we won't be dealing with this. Now that we have our workspace, what I want to do is log out. I'm clicking in the upper right corner. Let me shrink that up a little bit. And I'm going to sign out because now I want to go back in to the workspace. So the workspace is teams underscore zero zero one and that is the administrator's name and then I have my password for the administrator and I enter that and now I'm in the Apex interface for application development and we have components of Apex such as application builder and I can get to that by clicking on the actual uh, icon that we saw at the top level. But I can also come up here in the menu area and get the drop down list. There's SQL Workshop. It contains several components. 
uh, object browser, SQL commands, SQL scripts, and utilities. And we'll be using those, especially early on during the, uh, the time in which we're setting up the database objects, the tables, sequences, views, and things of that nature. There's also a team development area, and you can use this to have a workspace where multiple designers are working together on an application. And this is a good tool for managing something like a to-do list and assigning responsibility for things that need to be done. And you can get uh, reports that show you, you know, your progress as you're working through the to-do list. And packaged applications is not actually something we'll be dealing with in this tutorial. The main thing I need to do right now to wrap this particular video up is I have logged in as the workspace administrator and that is not how you should log in when you're actually designing and building the application. So as the workspace administrator, not the overall Apex administrator, but this particular workspace administrator, I want to come to this icon and I want to go manage users and groups and from here I can create multiple accounts however my, I, many I want for perhaps our application design team I can have regular user accounts with limited access right now we have the administrator account I'm going to create a user and I'm going to call this uh, this particular one I'm going to name Ashwini because I'm going to create uh, a couple of other accounts and sometimes I'll log in as one one of the other uh, designers just to give you a sense of how you could use multiple people in an application development environment and use the team development component. So I'm going to come down here and just make up an email address because we won't be using that. Now I want to make sure that I set this user as a developer which gives them a lot of uh, rights and access to a lot of features and I don't want it to be workspace administrator though so I'm going to set the password I'm going to jump down here first though and not force the uh, person logging in to change their password on the first login so I'll set the password so I set the password and I clicked create user and now I'm back out to the next the, the apparent level I'm going to go back in. I'm going to pause the video and create a couple more accounts, each one with designer access. So I now have designer accounts for Ashwini, Carlo, and Debbie. Having done that, the next step is to log out as the administrator of this workspace and log back in as one of the designers. So I'm going to sign out, go back into my login page, and I'm going to Log in as Ashwini. So now I'm logged in to Apex for my development environment as one of the designers. In the next video, we'll get started on importing scripts and running them and laying the groundwork for our application by creating database objects.